So welcome back for another casting couch with Kios. Now, he isn't chewing the sofa, he is chewing his Kong. He gets very excited with his Kongs. Um, so what are we going to talk about today? I thought we'd talk about the age old thing, which all dog trainers talk about, but it's very, very important. And that is not letting your dog run up to other dogs. It is so, so important that if you're going to let your dog off lead, that you have some, well not some recall, you have recall, you can get your dog back to you. Not every dog, in fact no dog wants to be run at by a strange dog. And look how much hair he's dropping, that's really bad isn't it? Um, no dog, dogs generally don't mix with other dogs from different households. They, they kind of just do it because that's what's been um, that's what we've imprinted in them from puppies. We've imprinted that they go and play with other dogs. If I, uh, when I bring a puppy up, if I bring a puppy up, whenever I bring a puppy up, they don't interact with any other dogs because I want all that focus either on the Kong. Kios, that's really loud. Key. Mate, that's really loud, isn't it? Yes, just be quiet. Oh, don't sit on me. You've got a whole sofa there. Go and, go and lay on the sofa that side. That's it. You were fine where you were. Just be a bit quieter because people can't hear, can they? No. Let's just make a barrier, shall we? Thank you, Kios. Oh, my word. Um, so, I don't let my dogs interact, which means that they, um, they, they don't become dog aggressive because they're not interacting with other dogs. They become what we call dog neutral. So, I'll see another dog and it's like, okay, yeah, cool. That's just part of the environment rather than there's another dog i need to go and play with that dog i need to run up to that dog as quickly as i can what you'll find is there will be some dogs that are out in the environment who either don't want to be bothered by other dogs are aggressive towards other dogs or just come out of surgery they're in season they're old my 13 and a half year old uh, malinois she's really started becoming firm on her legs now if another dog ran at her, that's going to stress her loads, like absolutely loads. And I'm just not prepared to put her in that situation, so we just walk around the fields here. But if you haven't got any other option but to take your dog out, and you've got an old infirm dog, the last thing you're going to want is any dog running up to your dog. Um, so no matter how friendly your dog is, no matter how um cute how sweet how nice how much your dog loves other dogs regardless of any of that you need to keep control of that dog because you don't know what the other dog is like you could be putting your dog in danger by um allowing your dog to run up to another dog because that other dog could be aggressive it might not like dogs and then your dog is running up to it and God knows what would happen after that. So not only are you keeping other dogs safe, you're keeping your own dog safe as well. And you could have the... Oh, my word, now we're making the noise again. Key! Key! Do you have to make so much noise? You also have the problem that they might run across a road to get to that other dog because they're so excited. And the last thing you want is them running across a busy road um, when you don't have any recall. So practice your recall, train that recall. Once you have that recall, let your dog off lead. Um, and only when you can call your back under any distractions, not just a recall that you have at home, a recall that you have anywhere. Now, a great way to start recall training, I don't know what he's doing, is Sorry, my uh, phone went a bit weird then. I think it's because Kiosk is making weird noises. Let me put that over there. Um, so, focus and engagement. So the best way to start your recall is to um, increase your focus and engagement of your dog. And the easiest way to do that is to hand feed your dog. Now, there's a set way of introducing that to your dog uh, to make sure that it's safe and it's appropriate for your dog and all the safeguards and the protocol are in place. There is a link below if you wanted to uh, jump on board and um, train with us for doing some focus work. And our um, Enigma Infinity course is also down there, which will take you through everything. It's a real good standard point for your dog. Take you through loads of focus and engagement and loads of other stuff. Loads of fun stuff. I think his balls were on my foot. That wasn't pleasant. Um, so... All in all, if you don't have a recall on your dog, please do not let your dog off lead. Get that recall first. You do not know what the other dog is going to be like. You may find that um, 9 out of 10 dogs 
are going to be absolutely fine, but one out of ten dog that is not going to want people, dogs running, people, dogs running up to them. Um, so yeah, keep your dog on a lead until you have a good recall. He is still chewing the car, not the sofa. It does look like he's chewing the sofa, though, doesn't it? Kios. We all right, Kios? You gonna say goodbye? Key. Kios. Key. You gonna say goodbye? Is that a big fat no? Kios says goodbye. We'll catch you next time.